Hello everyone, welcome to the next unboxing here at Eurofish Aquatics in Tukwila, Washington. Here in the background, I finally can tell you we got it back up and running. We got our 280 uh, plus 2 FX6 filter, so I just call it a 300 gallon um, custom acrylic uh, 3 quarter inch um, 7 foot by 32 foot bowed display tank. Um, uh, I think about five months ago, six months ago, feels like a long time ago, this thing leaked out and I was able to save all the fish, but it was right before I left. And so I uh, finally learned how to repair it and I fixed it and it obviously holds. So right now there's just some nice new gravel, a um, couple pieces of wood just for just to get it cycled and we got a sponge filter running to uh, currently one FX6 filter but the second one's going to get put on later today. Um, in there is a ton of fish, um, we got some African pom pom knives, we got giant grommies, we got sun catfish, Siamese algae eaters, yo-yo loaches in there, Chinese algae eaters. Blue sheath fish, angel fish, jungle perch, um, lemon fin barbs, tiger barbs, uh, rainbow shark, um, let's see what else is in there, granulated catfish, flat whiskered catfish, marble self and catfish, um, sure I'm mention, forgetting to mention a few other fish, but it's giraffe fish, giraffe catfish, um, a lot of rare catfish in there, a lot of rare species. Uh, they've been kind of neglected, outgrown in the 55, so now they're in the big tank. There's also a black lancer catfish. A ton of fish there, come check it out. Um, I will be probably rescaping it soon and putting some more wood and plants in there possibly who knows what we're gonna do with it but just happy to get it up and running anyways so let's get uh, started on some fish we got some little bit of nano we got medium-sized community fish docile fish aggressive fish we got oddballs we got of course pre you know predator large monster fish um, all kind of stuff so let's get started with a healthy batch of wild caught Rio Negro um, Rummy Nose Tetras. Not one DOA. Happy about that. Very, very happy about that. So there's a hundred of them in there. Looking good. Oh, sorry about the camera adjustment here. It's kind of difficult to get a seven foot tank in one shot there. Side panel to side panel, but here is your midnight, um, midnight Zamora Kunchi catfish. These guys will grow to be about eight inches, kind of like your sun catfish, but they're unique. Oddball, if you're looking for something for your 75 gallon or bigger that's different. Um, they're not aggressive unique come check those out midnight Zamora punchy catfish all right here's a nice big size beautiful stunning L128 blue phantom pleco this one's probably six inches grow to be about nine perfect for your 75 gallon or bigger I guess it could go in the 55 to also. It's long enough, I think. Beautiful. Blue Phantom L128 Pleco. Nice giant. There's another beauty. L128 Extra Large. Blue Phantom Pleco. Sorry about the lighting. This thing is. Beautiful though. 
Here is a medium sized L120. This one's only about three and a half inches. So it's almost large size. I guess you'd consider this large. L128 Blue Phantom. And we got one more large size Blue Phantom Black Arm. Alright, here's a bag of mixed, uh, unique, oddball snails. So in here, you're seeing what is called a red lip neurite snail. It's a new neurite, beautiful red color. Um, there's also white Hercules snails and orange rabbit snails in here too. Alright, here's something for the nano collectors, peepers, here is your dwarf pea puffers. Alright, here's a tetra we haven't never brought in before. This is your emperor tetra, also called the super blue carry tetra. Beautiful colors on them. Nice looking nano fish, schooling. And here's some more turquoise rainbow fish. Sorry, that was three Basmani rainbows. This is the three turquoise rainbows to add to our schools here. Probably six, seven different kinds of rainbows now. Here's something super nano for you for all the small tanks. You got a one gallon, two gallon. Wondering what can actually survive in there. Not much, but. These guys will. This is your Thai Micro Spider Crab. Thai Micro Spider Crab. They are um, filter feeders. So they will work on polishing your water. Alright, if you're looking for a Pleco that's dwarf but very colorful that can fit in your 20 gallon or bigger but not so as big as a bristlenose pleco they reach about five to six inches so people ask me what's a smaller pleco well i have here what is called a l239 blue penic pleco or perfect dwarf pleco all right here we have another l239 blue penic pleco they got a stunning dark blue color to them It's a really nice dwarf pleco. Come check them out. All right, here's a hatchet fish we've never brought in before. These are called the dusky narrow hatchet fish. I was only able to get two. I'm gonna get a few more from another source. But this source, I could only get two of them. Very unique dusky narrow hatchet fish. These guys will grow to be four inches. Very cool schooling. You want something oddball, you like your hatchet fish top dwelling, get you some of these. They'll be here in that big old tank that you see right there. Plenty of room for all these fish. I've right, got a ton of healthy Harley Quinn Rasboras. Nice schooling fish. Classic Rasbora. Alright, here we have some German Blue Rams. Some juveniles there. And we have some Gold Rams. We also have some uh, Electric Blue Rams different types of rams here stocked up for you. There's another nano fish for you. These are called rosy loaches. They're really small miniature loaches. So pretty sure they eat snails but yeah rosy loach is what they're called. Nano loaches. 
All right, here's another new Nano Tetra we've never brought in before. This is called the Ruby Tetra. It's your, uh, Nano Ruby Tetra. Sorry about the horrible footage. Nano Ruby Tetra. All right, here's a rare, beautiful Pleco. You probably won't see anywhere else. This is your L. L42, um, I'm sorry, L452 Mustang Cactus Pleco. It'll grow to be 10 inches. Beautiful, like, sailfin like. It's basically black with beautiful markings. I don't know what's going on with the lighting. I have all the lights on in the shop. It's just not showing them like I usually show them. Sorry about that, but. L452 Mustang Cactus Pleco. All right, here's a super rare oddball. You want something you need for, you know, everyone knows your aquarium, they come over and they notice all the new stuff you got. You want something that probably no one's ever seen before. Come get this. This here is a freshwater river sole. Basically a flounder that lays very, very flat. There you go. There it is, out of water a little bit just to show you. Freshwater river sole. You get 10 inches. Come check it out. All right, here's another crazy oddball for your aquarium. Let's say you have an Amazon theme and you have soft water and looking for something unique here is your amazon soul check this out look at a different completely different shape than the freshwater river soul this one's dark blue the other one's kind of like beautiful tan brownish with spots on it this one is like solid blue can't explain it out of this world fresh i mean this is your amazon soul look at this thing you've never seen one before you probably haven't come check it out ask me where it's at where's those Amazon soles and I'll show you um, freshwater sole we're gonna put them in the same tank and uh, keep them in the sandy substrate there you go and he's putting on a show for you so that's his beautiful dark blue side and then there's the bottom very unique All right, this is about the cutest thing ever. This is for my big predator monster fish people that uh, keep large aquariums, large fish. These are your Thailand Thin Bar Tiger Datnoids Juvenile Babies. Six of them in here. They will grow to be 16 inches. They're only just over an inch right now. That's the cutest thing ever. There's six of them in here because they are schooling. Someone with a large tank would probably love to get all six of them and grow them out. You're definitely gonna get a pair in here and there's definitely male and female. All six available. I'm gonna try to sell them as a group of six. I know it's not gonna be easy, but I'll find the right person because these are schooling. Um, thin bar, NTT, thin bar. Northern Thailand Datnoid. All right, here's an awesome, super rare, pa, awesome fish with crazy capabilities. Been a dream to get these into the shop since I've opened. Uh, I'm proud to say we finally have our first archer fish. Now, archer fish are awesome and crazy they have the ability to spit water out of the water obviously and squirt bugs and then they fall in and then they eat them so they're like archers they shoot streams of water so we brought in 
your freshwater small scaled archer fish. Now there's a few species. This is a fully freshwater one. Some of them are brackish. This is the freshwater ones. They will reach to be 5.5 inches and we're going to put it in an aquarium, quarantine them, and then after that we're going to put them in our display. Um, 50 gallon low boy frag tank scape with all the rockery and put some um, crickets on, on to the rockery and see if we can get some footage of them actually squirting the water and catching their prey and hunting them down. So here's your freshwater small scaled archer fish. Check it out. All right, here's an awesome, stunning fish for you monster fish people. Keepers, monster fish keepers, should I say. This is a giant, literally the biggest one I've seen yet. I mean, we brought in a big one before, but this thing is definitely larger. This is your royal clown knife fish. This will grow to be three feet, considered a food fish in certain Asian countries. Awesome sport fish too, put up a good fight. But here we are keeping it as a beautiful monster fish for our aquarium. This is your royal clown knife fish. Probably the most majestic out of all of them. Just to show you the size of my finger here, you can understand how big this is. This is probably pushing over 10 inches, 12. Alright, here's my favorite eel of all eels. I haven't seen them around for quite some time. A few decades since I've been in the hobby. I brought them around after I found them. Um, definitely unique. Here's your beautiful, stunning freshwater tiger moray eel. This will grow to be up to 24 inches. This one is a extra large size. So this one's pushing I would say it's between 16 and 20 inches. Can't really tell until it completely extends out, but you will need a very, very glass tight lid. Escape artists, they can deflate their bodies and slip through the smallest of holes. So they aren't cheap because of their rarity. This is only the third one I've brought in. So these are your tiger moray eel, freshwater tiger moray eel. Come check it out here. Eurofish Aquatics. Alright, this one's for the monster fish keeper. I know I bring in a lot of them. Well, you know here in Washington State, you'd be surprised how many people have big tanks. And not just one, they might have several large tanks. Um, people have indoor ponds that are heated. People have indoor swimming pools that are heated. Um, I have somebody who buys koi from me and they have an indoor swimming pool converted to a swim pond indoors. Basically it's set up like a pond but they still swim in it with all their koi. So there are people, I don't want you guys thinking like he keeps bringing all these monster fish in but they're just going to the wrong homes. No, I'm when I sell these monster fish here when they're babies, I make sure that the person who's purchasing them understands that they are a pet to keep for life. And they have to have the proper aquarium. And they usually ask them to prove to me that they have the aquarium and not just tell me so. Show me pictures, show me video of your setup so I can actually see your aquarium before I sell you this fish. And if they fail to show it to me, I, and then I'm not going to sell them the fish. So. Rest assured that I make sure that these fish go to proper homes. And worst case scenario, I am ready and set up myself to take in any back, any fish that outgrows your tank that you purchased here. Even if it's five years from now, I'd be happy to see these monsters fully grown and get them back and put them in our future um, fish store uh, as, as store pets up for display. I would absolutely love that. I will make sure that we'll have a giant tank one day. But anyways, here 
is a catfish that we've never brought in before. This is called a Poppian Shark Catfish. This thing will grow to be 24 plus inches, extremely aggressive, predator fish, eats live fish. This is your Papayan Shark Catfish. Definitely has a dorsal looking like a shark. I mean, this thing is probably pushing eight inches. Beautiful, stunning. Come check it out. It's gonna be its own 55 gallon for now. So I can kind of see how really a super extremely aggressive it really is and uh, might be able to house it with the other monster fish, but we'll see what happens. All right, guys, last but not least, another rare, super rare monster catfish you won't see anywhere else, but here at Eurofish Aquatics in Tequila, this is your extremely big and aggressive all black crystalline catfish. We got a huge leak. You can see the water spraying on the floor. We have sprung a leak. We have a monster catfish. Extremely aggressive. Rarely ever tolerates any tank mates. They will grow to be 24 plus inches. Crystallite catfish. Super rare oddball for the monster fish keeper. Definitely be the only one up here with one of these. Come see it in person before it finds its forever home. Crystallite catfish. We've got a ton of plants in. We have um, new products in. We got our co op order in. Um, did get, I'm in the process of putting up another 75 gallon aquarium for, for plants. So we have 175 gallon full of assorted plants and 175 gallon full of bunch plants and tissue cultures. We have paludarium, terrarium, um, immersed plants, cultures, um, we have plants that grow out of water here, like bamboo, and uh, pretty soon I'll be selling like pothos style plants here uh, to aquascape, I mean to basically put on your aquarium. So come check out what we have new. I am getting a ton of big wood pieces in. I've been selling them like crazy. I'm bringing in some really nice big wood if you're looking for it. We've got a great price here. Come check out the new wood, new rock. We got three different types of rock here uh, for scaping that I've never seen in any other store in Washington State. Come check that out. We have what is called black quartz. We have red strata. We also have petrified wood here. We have mountain stone, dragon stone. Come see what we have. We got something for every person in this hobby. If you're an aquascaper to nano to monster fish keeper, doesn't matter if you're new to the hobby or you've been around for 34 years like me in the hobby, uh, there's something here that you will see that you've never seen anywhere else. I can guarantee you that. So come check out what we have. Always looking forward to seeing you on the next one.